Hey, what's up guys and welcome back. So in this video, we will be doing one thing and that is called the search customization. Okay, so this is basically a really advanced topic that I want to bring this to you guys. And that is you can see that this Elementor search thing that we have it over here, you can see that if I just search for shirt over here, and then I just hit enter, then you can see this search will take me to the website search, not the product search. So there's a difference between a product search and a website search that I've already told you um, that when we were doing the visits area. So if you are not familiar with it, then you can see this is what we call as a website search. And if you go to the shop, page and then we go down here then you can see we've got a search product widget that we have added and now if you just search for shirt over here and then you hit search then you will see that it's going to take you to the product page and you can see now these products are like here and now the person can even add to the cart and he can even select the options he can even filter the price and he can hit fit filter and then the price will be filtered and the products will be like that so this is how it's gonna work okay so basically now what we need to do in this video is that we have to make sure that if someone just search for any of the product in this using this button and he just clicks over here and then he just search for that product then what we want to do is that we have to make sure that we land him to the product page where it should be like that and the person can even add to the card and he can view that card and then he can check out but this is how it's working so now let me tell you the difference how the website search works and how the product search works so this is basically a website search okay where you you can see the URL here it says s1.storeshopping.site question mark s is equals to shirt okay which is just like this so if I just write here shirts and then I just hit enter then it's gonna be just like shirt so everything that is working is basically behind the URL that is coming okay so if I just remove this s and then I just hit enter then you will see that it's gonna be for the shirt so now what we want to do is that we have to make sure that if someone just searches for a shirt like this, then we have to land him to the shirt, but the product way. So if someone just search for shirt in the product search widget, and then he just hit search, then you can see the URL here. It's just like that. Question mark S is equals to shirt and post underscore type is equals to product. Okay. So this is how it's basically going to work. Okay, like we want to add in this and post underscore type is equals to product thing. Like if we just copy it from here and then we come up here and then we just type in shirt over here and then we just hit enter, then you will see it's going to be just like question mark s is equals to short. And now if we just add this particular part into our link and then we just hit enter, then the user will see that page where he can add to the cart and he can select the options. So we want to do this thing. Uh, the best part is that there is no plugin available that is going to let you do that okay so if you want to do that you basically need to do some type of coding okay and if you are familiar with JavaScript you will be able to understand it really very easily uh, and if you are not do not worry you don't have to learn this I'm just gonna be giving you the code that you have to go and that you have to paste it there so basically um, now if you are familiar with JavaScript okay then um, I'm gonna explain you what is happening and if you are not familiar with the JavaScript then don't worry just follow along with the video in the end I'll be giving you the code that you have to paste in somewhere okay so do watch this video but all you need to do is to just come up here and just click the home page just go to the home page and then you can see we've got this search bar right here click on here and you can see this is the search that is coming all you need to do is to just right click over here click on the inspect okay so once you hit inspect you will be taken to the inspect page but it's just like that it's it is basically taking you to the form or to the basically HTML form that is right here so this is you can see a form and inside that form we have this input type is equals to text okay so what you basically need to do is that you have to get this form and in that form, you have to append another input type as a hidden with the name to be the post underscore type and the value should be product. Okay, so you need to do that. And how you can go ahead and how you, and where you basically have to paste in that code. Let me just show it to you. All you need to do is to just come up here, go to the basically the theme customizer. And once you are here in the theme customizer, all you need to do is to go down till you see this custom CSS and JS. This is the place where you can go ahead and you can add your customized JavaScript files. And in this custom JS, all you need to do is to add that code that I will be showing you. So first, what we need to do is that we have to get the full document. 
Okay, so what you have to do, you have to type in document. Okay, and then what we have to do, we have to get a CSS ID or HTML ID or whatever you want to say it. We have to get the HTML ID that is search form. So what we will be doing with this document, you have to write a dot and then you have to write get element with the E capital. Okay, and then by with B capital and then ID with I capital. So this is just like that document dot get element by ID. Okay. And then what you have to do, you have to type in the parentheses. Okay. And then in these parentheses, you have to write this double quotation marks. And in between these double quotation marks, you have to basically add in this ID, which is basically search form without any gap. So you basically need to add it in here. So I'm just going to write here search form. Okay, and once you have added this, all you need to do is to just come up here and then you have to basically now this code will get you this particular form. So now we've got this full form that is coming up right here. Now what we need to do is that we have to go inside this form. Basically, we have to go inside where this input field is. So what we will be doing, we'll be saying that we then we with this document dot get element by id we have got that form and now we have to go inside that form so we'll be using one code that is called dot i n n e r h t m l so now we are inside this form okay so now we are inside this form and now what we'll be doing is that we will be adding another input type now for that what you have to do you have to write here plus is equals to and then what you have to do you have to write single quotation marks two times and then what you have to do, you have to write a semicolon. So basically, it's just like that single quotation marks and then semicolon. And now in between the single quotation marks, all you need to do is to just add this code that is going to be input type is equal to in the double quotation marks, you have to write hidden. Okay, and then out of this double quotation marks, all you need to do is to just write um, input type is equals to hidden name is equals to in the double quotation marks, just write post underscore type, then give a space, and then just write here value is equals to, and then you have to write in here product. Okay, and after this, what you have to do, you have to close this um, input tag. Okay, so once you basically do that, and then you hit publish over here, okay, then what you will do, if you just come up here, you will see that after this input, there will be another input as well. Okay, so let's just go ahead and let's refresh and let's check it out if it is coming or not. So I just search, I just basically refresh this, this up, and now it's just right here. So after this input, you can see we have got another input that is basically hidden with the post type post underscore type as a name and the value as a product. Okay, so now what you have to do, you have to just type in shirt over here, and then you have to hit enter. And you will see now this and post underscore type product is right here already. So this is a thing that you have to do. I will be giving you this code, okay, basically as a text in the next lecture. So you can what you can do basically is that you can go ahead and you can copy up this code and then you can paste it right in here and your search form will work like that. Okay, so stay tuned guys. I hope you like this um, advanced video. Stay tuned and bye.